Hey, Tina, are you here in the church? I wish. Unfortunately, I had to stay behind because old David Vickers is missing again. Have you never heard of a leash, Tina? Look, I will be there as soon as I possibly can, I promise. I love you. Yeah, I love you too. I hate for you to miss this. I hate this too. I mean, we should be there together. I mean, to see this beautiful wedding that I planned with virtually no help from anybody else. But, but I can't leave till I know that old David Vickers is safe. I mean, she's just a poor, innocent little animal. I just pray that God will bring her home again. Finally! I'm getting too old for this. But I've got to get my paws on that paternity test before it's too late. What are you going to do, Daddy? The cockamamie maid of honor still isn't here. Not for heaven's sakes. I'll see if I can get a hold of her. <sighs> you know what, Roxy? Why don't you do it? Me? Uh-huh. I mean, if that's all right with you. Yeah, yeah, that would be great. <laughs> okay, no <laughs> problem solved. <laughs> okay, that's what you want. <laughs> okay, then, as a maid of honor, can I ask you one teeny, weeny little question? Sure. Is this what you really want? You really want to be Mrs. Brody Lovett? Of course. I wouldn't be here if I didn't, right? Okay. Then what if... What, 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 You're right. If there's any chance of me and this John's son, he has a right to know. I understand why you would feel that way, considering what happened with Ryder. Yeah. But for what if it's not true? I would just be getting John's hopes up for nothing. I mean, what if Liam isn't his son? Jessica. What if he is? This is one of the proudest moments of my life. <laughs> You are the best wedding gift ever. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here before God and these witnesses to join this man and this woman in holy matrimony. 